Creating a concept map in Canva is a pretty easy thing. Um, Canva is a tool that does re does have a, a pay option and I am a subscriber so I um, do a lot of things with Canva. But um, you don't need a subscription to use Canva and use it well. So to create your concept map, just type the words concept map into your search box and it comes up with hundreds of different types of concept maps. Anything that has a little crown that says like pro, that means you have to have a subscription in order to use it. However, there's tons of ones that don't have that little crown. So what I like to do is just pick one um, that doesn't have a crown. Um, let's try, let's try this one. Right. And then um, I'm going to hit customize this template. I kind of like doing it this way because it gives you a bunch of options on the side um, as well. So it allows you to find other things once you've chosen one. So that choice doesn't have to be your final choice. So let me see what we can find here that is free. Here's one, and I, I like this one because it looks a lot like the one, the sample that is within the reverse case study assignment. So I want to try using this. Um, so let me just delete this page one here. So here it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the word flowchart from here, and I'm just going to name it um, reverse case study. And as you can see, the more you type, um, the, um, the box expands as far as you need it. So on here, um, I want to switch this to a single box. Now I want to add another box here. So I'm going to have the medical his history here. And then I'm going to duplicate this box. And move it down. And then this is going to be the medications, the whole medications box. I wanted to make sure that you understand that um, you can manipulate this any way you want. So if you wanted to make this bold, you can. If you want to center the text, you can. If you want to left align it, you can. If you want to right align it, you can. So I'm going to leave that centered. And um, you can also add more text here and make it as much text or as little text as you want. So I want to add maybe aspirin and um, Zyrtec or whatever medications um, are needed. And then I want to make sure that I unbold this text and I want to maybe make this part, maybe make it left aligned so you can add your information in. Um, and then you can also make the boxes bigger, smaller, however you want to do it. Um, so I'm going to make this box bigger. I'm going to duplicate the little arrow and then now I'm going to move the arrow this way and I'm going to make sure that both arrows are pointing to this box, which is going to become the current course box. And you're going to add your description there. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this box this arrow, and if I hit my shift key, I can get rid of a few things all at once. So I'm going to get rid of um, this arrow, and then this arrow and this box all at once, and then go that way. So this box can be as big or as small as you want it. Um, you can enlarge it, make it smaller, make it wider, whatever. All okay. right. So now I need two boxes that um, all come out from this one. So I'm going to get rid of this one because it's just weird shaped. And I'm going to get rid of this little yes here. And I'm going to move. Uh, actually, I'm going to take away this arrow and take this box 
this arrow and this box, group them and move them up. When you group, you can manipulate things a bit better. So I'm going to now ungroup and then I'm going to get rid of the arrow in between there. So getting rid of the arrow, I'm going to move this arrow here. I'm going to duplicate this arrow, move it here, and then move it down to this box. So here it's going to say expected labs slash diagnostics. And this one is going to say expected assessment date. So now I've got an arrow here that I don't need. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of this. And these three boxes are perfect. So I just want to make sure that my little no is gone from here. And I'm going to attach this to the expected labs. And then I'm going to move. Again, I'm going to shift all of this down. So there we go. Let me ungroup. Move the arrow and then go up. And then I'm going to make that nursing diagnoses. I'm going to make this say independent and collaborative interventions. And this one's going to say evaluation criteria and expected. I'm going to get rid of the testing box and then this arrow here and this arrow is going to get a little shorter here. Of course, you're going to have to expand it as you see fit. So there you go. You have there you have it. You can change the colors of the boxes by selecting them and choosing a different color for them. So let's say I wanted to make this brown or orange or blue. I can do whatever I want there. Um, I can change the color of any boxes. I can change my fonts simply by selecting the text and making it bold or making it not bold. I can change the color of my font. Um, I can make it darker, lighter, anything I want to. So I'm just going to make this black again so it's legible. And ta-da, there you have it. Um, once you're done, you can hit share and then um, you can download the file as an image that you can then paste into your um, document. Um, you can also paste it as a PDF standard or PDF best for printing one of these um, four. The SVG is going to be a pro thing only um, so you'll have all of that. So hopefully this helps and let me know if you have any other questions.